Hi there, Ken and Danny here. BB30 or Mega XO? That's the question. In this episode, we are going to compare those two bottom bracket systems. We've got here a uh, Cannondale uh, BB30 specific um, shell of the frame with the bottom bracket inside already assembled. And here we have the Merida Scultura. This is a carbon, this is aluminum uh, carbon frame with the shell for the Mega Exo system. Which one is better? Which one is lighter? Which one is stiffer? Which one is more durable? Well, it depends, but uh, I'm gonna show you the differences and all I can tell for sure, I will try to show you in this uh, video. I'm Canon Danny, so I am a big fan of uh, Cannondale, uh, but I'm not that sure whether the BB30 uh, system is the best. For me, it works fine. I love the oversized shelf uh, of the frame for BB30, but there is one thing that uh, really concerns me and that is the distance between the bearings. Cannondale says that what decides uh, of the durability of our bearings is the size of the bearings. But I would say that the distance between them is also a very important factor. What can we say about the difference between distance of the bearings in BB30 and in Mega XO? Well, the difference in, is huge. And I'm gonna show you that by simply comparing the cranksets. This is the BB30 crankset. This is the Mega Exo crankset. You see the spindles. This one is much longer. And you can see this glossy part of the, of the spindle. That's the part where the bearings will be assembled. And here, the glossy parts, the distance is much, much uh, larger uh, in the Mega Exo system. But then also the diameter of the spindle is different. Here we have 24 millimeters, here we have 30 millimeters. The advantage of the BB30 system is that it is lighter, but is it really stiffer? Let's take a closer look at those bearings and I will tell you the distance between them. In BB30 that is 65 millimeters, 65 millimeters. And my uh, shell is 68 millimeters wide. Now when we look at the Mega Exo bearings, the distance between them is around 85 millimeters, 85, 65. So it's 20 millimeters difference. And the shell is also 68 millimeters long. So we have the same length or the width of the um, uh, shell in our frames is 68 millimeters, but the distance between those uh, two bearings um, is much wider in the Mega XO. It's two, 20 millimeters more in the Mega XO. And that's the advantage of the Mega XO system. And of course, here we have our 24 millimeters of the diameter of the spindle or the bearings. And here in BB30 we'll have 30 millimeters. So basically we have 6 millimeters difference between BB30 and Mega XO in terms of the diameter of the spindle or our bearings and 20 millimeters difference uh, in terms of the distance between the bearings. And of course uh, the wider the bearings are the stiffer our system should be. I haven't had any problems in this CAD 10 with the BB30. I haven't had that problem in CAD 8. Uh, that one also had BB30. Uh, bearings uh, and those bikes are very very light. This is aluminum bike and it's super light. Uh, but I also haven't had uh, problems uh, in my mountain bikes with the Mega Exo system. What about the noisiness of our bottom bracket systems? I would say that there is more people complaining about BB30 rather than the Mega Exo. But that would happen more often in the carbon frames. Here I have the aluminum frame and there is absolutely no noise whatsoever. Which one should we choose then? Well, it depends on the bike you're buying. If you're buying a, a Cannondale bike, you will have the BB30 system. Is there any point of uh, putting the adapter and uh, assembling the uh, Mega XO uh, bottom bracket? I don't think so, because BB30 works fine. But uh, if you start to hear some crazy noise uh, in your bottom bracket, in your BB30 bottom bracket, then uh, converting into the Mega XO would be a good idea. So the advantage of the BB30 system is that it's lighter 
and the crankset for this system will be lighter as well than the Mega XO. But then the Mega XO has the better distance between the bearings. We have the outer bearings here. As you can see, the bearings aren't uh, assembled to the frame inside the frame. These are just here outside. And even though they are smaller than the BB30, I would say this system is also quite smart. There is also good to remember about one thing. Having BB30 specific frame gives you always the possibility of converting to Mega XO, but having Mega XO specific frame will not allow you to use the BB30 bearings in this frame. So we can't actually say which one is better, but we know the differences. And now uh, when you'll be buying a bike, you may want to consider which system you would like to have in your frame. I hope this was helpful. If you have more information about those systems or some questions, just put them down below and we're going to talk about it. See you soon. Bye bye.